The American Basketball Association is the largest pro league in the world. Some great opportunities for team ownership are available and the cost may surprise you. If you've ever thought about team ownership in a pro league, give us the opportunity to help make it a reality. Reach out to us for more info. For USA teams at www.abaliveaction.com. In Australia, go to www.abaleagueaustralia.com. Welcome to Comics on Parole. My name is Dan Glazer. Hope you've all been well. Well, we have a big guest on our show today. Actually, uh, this is my last show. I'm going to turn the reins of this show over to a gentleman that is a comedian, an actor, and the owner of the Savannah Comedy Club. Give it up for Mr. Tom Paris. Hey, awesome. thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. See if we so sit down right there. Oh, okay. oh we can social distance here a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little. You actually can put those. Uh, Things right in the middle of us, uh, Matt. So anyway, Tom, how are you doing? Pretty good. Tom drew 300 miles in here? Yeah, about 300, yeah. So, um, so Tom, you, you're the owner of Savannah Comedy Club, which is very well known. Is it known all over the country? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, I mean, you've got people coming from California. Yeah. And when did, when did you go into comedy? 11 years ago. Oh, just 11 years ago? Well, I mean, I started a comedy club 11 years ago. Okay. And were you, you weren't doing stand-up before that, though? No, I used to do uh, Magic Escapes, Houdini, Hank from Seattle. Oh, that's right. That's, that's yeah. right. That's what you, you said. You ever hear of the, the Kiss? Uh, not Kiss. That's that another group. Um, Sweet. Desolation Boulevard, the uh, album. Uh-uh. No? Uh-uh. Is that famous? I, I, it started in California. And so you lived in L.A. for a while? Yeah, I was born and raised. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's right, because your father was friends with Dan, very good friends with Danny Thomas. Yes, yes, he was. And some other people, too. You've met quite a few famous oh, people was, out there. Yeah, it was, it was fun. It was fun being a kid. Out Do you have family out there still? I have my sister out there still. She's yeah. not fleeing the state? No, she's still there. She's still... Is still she in L.A.? Family. Yeah. What's she say it's like? It's of, she says it's uh, with COVID and everything. Everything's shut down. A lot of right people now. left, I think. No, a lot of yeah. people, but, well, they'll come back. Well, they drive to Arizona. That's right. Yeah. Or Texas. Or, or Tucson. Or uh, Texas. Or Flagstaff. Florida. Yeah. That's all I heard. A thousand people a day are moving into Florida. Did you know that? From that's, California. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So anyway, um, so for several reasons we've had uh, Tom. First of all, I had asked him to be on here before I asked him if he would like to take over the show. But you have a big announcement about a contest coming on at your club. Right. So what do we have here? And this let's put, in right fact, here, right? let's put the poster up. Uh, now yeah. put it in the middle yeah, of right us here, if you right, can. Right here, here, now too. put it over to the middle of us, Matt, if you can. Can you? That's right. You can leave it there. Oh, there you go. Okay, good. Yeah, we got yeah, plenty of room. So explain to us about the... Oh, the, the comedy uh, contest, this is my 11th annual, and this is this is for where, you know, people from all over the place, you know, come battle for the uh, funny and the money. Uh -huh. You know, and that's, that's in the, and it's really an audition. Uh -huh. I mean, this is something where, you know, people come and they can use this demo reel for anywhere they want to go mm -hmm. to, you know, perform. Mm -hmm. Um and you know it's great for people who are just getting started. It's great for people who want to come and make a quick buck. Right, a thousand bucks. And it's very clean. Yeah, we like clean comedy. We don't like any f words. Funny's fine. Yeah, that's an f word. Funny's fine. That's yeah, funny's true. an f word. He sent me. A, he had me look at one of the contestants sent a video, and every other word was the f word or the d word or b word or everything. Uh, would you? We, so, so tell us a little about. Is there any more you want to say about the? Uh, just a fun show. You have right. Judges. So we have. We do have judges. Celebrity guest judges. Jerry uh -huh. Farber's going to be there judging. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you know we have casting directors. Uh -huh. um, we have talent agents. We uh -huh. have scouts. Uh -huh. We have people looking to put people to work. Right. I mean, this is a networking that you can't. You know, devise right. anywhere else. I mean, we had a guy that, that that came in. You know, maybe second to last. You know, but he he grabbed a uh, a five thousand um, dollar movie uh, how, really yeah how did he do that well the casting director liked them booked them what was the movie it was it was uh killer um hmm, sharks think. killer killer bees no <laughs> yeah killer sharks <laughs> well no. whatever the movie was i'll think about it. he got yeah, paid five thousand he got paid five thousand yeah it must have been a decent movie he got sag too Wow, because yeah, of you. I know. That's amazing. And I didn't get it. You know, what's what's up with that? That's amazing. So, um, 
Uh, now, I remember a few years ago, you had a real young kid win the contest, I heard. Like, 15-year-old kid went to... Oh, yeah, that was really interesting. He went to our workshop, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. He honed up his stuff and everything, his material, and then he went out there and nailed it. Is he still doing it? That was a few years I, ago. I, I think he went to the theater. Oh, he went to the theater. Yeah, yeah I heard he killed. He yeah, he killed. did. He, he killed. Everyone was talking about it. Let's see a clip. Uh, the first clip, it'll be of the uh, comedy contest, Matt. So I'm celebrating my fourth wedding anniversary. She told me to take her out somewhere expensive. I took her to the gas station. <laughs>
That's great. So, and how you've been doing the comedy contest for eleven years? Eleven years. Wow, that's great. yeah, it's my eleventh annual. So, did you start out the next club? year? It'll be twelve. Well, that's true. Yeah. That's right. Then thirteen. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So, you um, started out the club immediately doing a contest. Is that how you started the club? No. So, I started a club with uh, just a show and everything. Uh-huh. And come November and stuff like that, we had a lot of things going on. So, I created a comedy contest. Okay. So and because they had film festivals, so you know, oh yeah, there's a big movie. There are they have they started filming movies there again? Yeah, the film festival's back. It's virtual. Oh really? Yeah. Have Have you seen the movies are starting to be filmed here in Atlanta? They are starting. Yes. Oh, they are starting. The they little, got a little COVID. Sometimes set them back. Some people get sick. Right. You know. Right. Well, I've seen the yellow signs. It says cast us parking here. Right. I've and then they put the pop- things up your nose, and if you have a DVA septum, you like you bleed. That's right. That's yeah. right. So anyway, so um, now, what are your biggest stars you've had besides Jerry Farber or Joel Byers? Oh, right, we got Gallagher. Gallagher. Right. Yeah, Gallagher. Now, what year did? So leave him on for a minute, Matt. So what year did you uh, have Gallagher? Uh, we had Gallagher about three years ago. Now he has a brother who performs too, right? No. Well, I, I heard that he did and everything, but you know, I think that was a joke or something. It was a joke. Yeah, oh, a joke. okay. But no, I mean Gallagher was there. I mean, he, he's uh, actually he's a chemist. Did anybody know he was a chemist? No. Oh yeah, yeah. We had lunch together. We talked, you know. And he's a uh, really intelligent guy. I was, I was how, shocked. He writes his own material. He changes his material all the time. Right. I mean, it's <laughs> always. No, I have never seen. I've seen bits and pieces of it. Does he say? Is he joke? Does he say some jokes too? All these. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, if you saw the show, it's. I've seen. I saw it years ago. Yeah, I know you get. I mean, he actually left. He did all all jokes, and then he he uh, he did the very end, the last ten minutes of just smashing, you know, watermelons. Oh, so it's a set, and then he cabbages. Now look at your stage there. You have a lot of plastic. Well, we put plastic because it does happen to spray. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you can see me holding the. the hammer. What do you call it? The yeah. gauntlet, the did hammer. Did you get to smash it at least once? Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and I got a pie in the face. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. Did he put the pie in the face? Yeah. Now, is he, is he performing still? Oh, absolutely. Wow. Yeah. I wonder how old he is. He's young. Young guy. It, that's him right there. Yeah. He's got some gray hair there on him, doesn't yeah, it? You know. Then he used to. Some of us get We all do. That. We all have that. Paint a couple white houses. You know how that goes. <laughs> so, anyway, um, so I bet that was a thrill having Gallagher out. Oh, yeah. He's a good guy. Yeah. Did he ever come back? Did he come back? Uh, he, he comes back and forth, different things, you know, the right material and things like that, you know. Oh, he does? We've chatted once in a while here and there, picked him up at the airport. That that was a lot of work having him there to prepare that stage and everything. Yeah, it was. That was a lot of work. Yeah. Uh, so, let's go in, uh, let's just go through um, some of the photos there. So, Cyrus Steele. Right, yeah, we just had him. The, Cyrus, let me tell you something. Cyrus Steele, I think, is going to be big one day. Yeah, yeah. Hey, this guy does great impressions. He's got great attitude. Very you know? nicest guy in the world. Oh yeah. He's known as a sweater guy. Did he wear a sweater when he performed? Um, I I think he did actually. He knows right. Yeah, it was, about, he, it was about ninety-five degrees. He is a talent. He he's doing a lot of churches now, but he's a talent. And Jerry Farber, the legend Jerry Farber. Yeah, Jerry's great. You know. And and has, now Jerry. Now who's this Robert Haas? Um. Now he he's a Jewish uh, minister. Mm-hmm. Um, a rabbi. A rabbi. Right. Right. Yeah. And is he good? He's very good. It, yeah, is, he, he, uh, he, he does a great homily. It does. Oh, really? It's oh. funny. Um, and uh, so Jerry's coming out, going to be hosting at your contest. And let's let's uh, go to the next one. Now, who's Ron? Oh, Feigl, Ron Feigl. Is he pretty well known? Oh, yeah, Ron is. He, he's he does things with certain words that you know he sings it and stuff like that, and it put, goes like a little reverberator. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, what's the word for that? It's uh, uh, comedy capoletta. So Ron, Robert's hosting and opening up a lot of your shows now, huh? Yeah. Hey, gotcha. And okay, so Eric Hunter is well known here yeah. in Atlanta. He's funny. Yeah. He's funny. He he took the uh, the Jerry Farber comedy class. Jerry used to teach comedy. Oh, class. really? I believe he did. Oh, okay. I could be wrong on that, but he's funny. So you know you know what the idea behind this picture is. Now we talked about dry comedy. I mean, I, I we he's very dry. dry? Yeah, he's so, very dry. Yeah. So uh, so Eric here, you know what the the thing is? What this is trying to look? This photo is trying to look like. Like he's taking a second grade photo. Photo. Oh, okay. I said, tell me what what's the story behind this photo? He goes, it was like I'm in second grade, a little kid. Well, a lot of people look at it and they go, ooh, creepy, you know. No, it's it's she's trying to look like a little kid. Oh. So you're a man of many talents. You're an actor. You're a comedian. You own a comedy club. You're a mechanic. Anything else? Um, yeah, there's all kinds of things. I just haven't figured them out yet. Now, were you working pretty heavy in the films before the corona? Were yeah, I, I actually started, like, I did extra work real real quick when I was in uh, Los Angeles. 
uh -huh. um, and then Arizona stuff like that. And that's you, when really, you were younger. Yeah, when I was younger. Did you do a lot of it? Oh, I, I loved it. I was it was fun because you know I used to, you get feature, featured parts and stuff. You get the meal. You didn't think actresses. about being an actor when you. Well, were I tried, there? but they told me to come back with experience. Well, how do you get experience? If well, you, you got to go out and find some people with independent films and stuff, get more experience. That's a rough business. Join the theater, you know, run around. See, I have a know. cousin lived off. Uh, is it Sunset Boulevard? Yeah, Sunset. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Barry Glazers is that. Uh, he did eight uh, newlywed game, dating game, uh, Dick Clark show, Midnight Special. You're too young for all these shows, I think. Are you remember? These? Well, I've heard of them. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I think he still does a part of the New Year show with. Well, I Ryan saw Seagull. Frank Sinatra when I was in. Yeah, you French. Yeah, tell us about yeah, that. Yeah, the briefly. piano player. Yeah, my dad was friends with the piano player. Uh, Frank Sinatra. Yeah, we got to stay in the uh, presidential suite in Caesar's Palace. What? But he was very close. It's the biggest bed I've ever seen. It was round. Oh, you know? oh right. You could fit a whole, whole your whole family. Well, did you talk to Frank Sinatra? You were a kid. Then? I was a kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah my, but know. Danny Thomas, he was very close with. Oh, you yeah. met him on a plane, right? Yeah, you met him on a plane. Yeah. Wow, nice guy. Nice. Yeah. So I think we're out of time, right? So we're out of time. So but anyway, come to see I us, Savannah County Review. We got the uh, comedy contest. You know, we're still need a couple of contestants, of course. You know, so if you want to be a contestant, want to win up to one thousand dollars in grand prizes, this is our eleventh annual. And tune in for the next comics on parole when I, I believe Tom Paris will be Thomas Paris will be um, uh, hosting the show. And you're on IMDb. Well, any Facebook? What's your Facebook? Just Thomas Paris. Yeah, it's Thomas Paris, but I'm on IMDb, so Thomas and, Paris. And they can find you at www.savannacomedyclub.com. Yep, Savannah Comedy Review. We get great reviews about the review. That's right. Yep. That's right. You know? So, very good. Uh, maybe if uh, maybe if you don't do the show, Tom, I can fill in for you. But uh, I yeah, thank absolutely. you. I'm very excited that you're taking over the show. I've done the show for seven years. It's been a lot of fun. I've enjoyed it. And it's time to turn it over to really bigger, better pastures. He has a lot more access to comics. He owns a comedy club for size. Well, you know, it, it, it's, it's going to be a big pair of shoes to fit into. So we'll see how it works. Well, I wear size 10. What do you wear? I wear size 12 and a half. And listen, you're in the acting business. You get some actors on there and stuff like that. There's all, And oh, you have great. a press pass. I got a press pass. I'm with uh, No Strings Attached D-News. Yeah. That's, uh, so there's you have a lot more avenues than I have. So I wish well, you the you best know, of luck, I, and I hope you can get it. But I hope you come back. We'll talk. I will come back. Know? I'll yeah. be in the audience. We were supposed to do a magic trick and everything. I know. I things. screwed up. You know, I screwed up. Do it on the next show. Yeah. You'll do it. Anyway, thank you for tuning in to Comics on Parole. Tune in next time when Thomas will be your host. Thank you.